What page did we start on again? 136. Tu boca es mi perdición. Camarón yeah. de la isla, panuelo, a rayas dos. Itamar's net senation, sojourn, mu 111th part. Well, since I've started, I might as well just keep going. And whoever wants to go in next, so, so be it. So goes it, Netson had said, began by saying, lip let hang, dejected, all the more inviting, Itamar thought. Lip, summoning lip, he remembered. Made up memory, mouth all his, hers not to be had. All the more inviting, he thought. Sweet Ethiopian mead made their heads turn. Mouth massing ruin, sweet reticence, boon they'd all but kiss. Tantric restraint, they called it. Ithams would be jump. And if mm -hmm. so thick, they tasted it. Tej, what kept at bay. They stood watching smoke rise at the edge of low forest. The light a bomb gave out going off. Netsanet city, the plot, it all accrued to. Sight they saw. Tej portended. Tej gambit, the book said it was. They took to their lips the dry mead cup's brim. A throwback Zeno called it. Zenet called it so as well, of late on the scene again. We were too hot, Itamar said to her. So goes it, he said. Cupped Ethiopian horn light cooled us. Bowed, bowed light curved our way. He said, had it not been so, I'd have, I'd have insisted. It cupped hush the rub sound Tej made. So goes it, goes only so far, not far enough. Beggarly thought, thought's compass collapsed. Beggarly thought, mere thought, all thought, and unspun wheel they'd be. Nets in that city soon faded, place one with comeliness up in smoke, flash, thought fallen away, fleet mingling, glimpsed extension kaput, mouth rummaging, mouth me mere conceit, no solace. A new city of sad children lay ahead. Retreat to the hills, though they'd have wanted to. From Athens back to Addis they'd come. They'd eaten meat with bits of orange in it. Retsina washed it down. Their tongues tasted orange peel and resin when they kiss. Mm -hmm. Kiss they held back from only to resume kissing. Tantric letting be let go. Quick as they were in, they came out of it. Retsina's cry far from Tej Gambit, Greek to both of them. Again, they drew back. Tibet, they might have been in. A tale was being told. No one knew who told it. Synesthetic sound of orange in the air. Sound itself new to them. Strange again, both beginning to ask what sound was. Against my will, I was a tiptoe ghost. Nobody knew it but me. Soon to be gumshoe ghost. A soft shoe croon I let out. Low croaks for emphasis, intent on lying low inside what sound was. A tale was being told. I told no one I told him. I tiptoed around it. Sheer perimeter, stark parameter, they'd have known had they known what sound was. There would there be would... the announcement of... Oh, go ahead. I'll just finish the, the poem. And... There would be the oh, announcement yeah. of things digested, we were told, intent on our low inclined, what sound was, endured it, said in some accounts. The much alluded to book lay open, pages ripped away by the wind, this no more than a glimpse, then gone. So it was, or so we'd say it was, Nets and its visit heuristic, a wrinkle the air got thick with. Itamar's ledge as much my ledge as his, Hers as much as ours, if not more. So it was, or so we'd say it was. So it was, and so we said it was. A feather caught in a crack. A feather lifted up as we saw the whole of low forest lift. A feather lifted up on an updraft. Netson had yanked it free. Thus the new book would begin. Low forest levitation of yore. Lift whose like never again to be seen. Such it as it was, we'd say, we saw. A certain self-installment we saw. A certain circularity we'd have wanted to say Tej Gambit was. Honey stuck to the roofs of our mouths, not letting go. A new lease on sweetness we'd have sworn was what we saw. 
So not knowing yet what sound was, stuff happens, we'd insist, even so, knowing, not knowing, all the same as we could see, now no longer sure what sea was, say that we did, though we did, sure as we were, what say was, this we knew, some sort of tale was being told, and would be told, moo, as in the mouth again, moo, as in the ground, nets in that country, the lay of the sailboat, unlays roll going off into water, would it were lone coast, white water petticoats, nets and nets undercloth. The moon tugged at her dress, and so did the wind, we heard it said. The world we looked out at underneath it gave off light, nets and nets the singer, nets and nets the song, or nets lonely woman with breaking wave accompaniment, seals barking under the pier, so sang the singer. So went the song, unsprung ictus, what it there was left of it. Itamar's namesake, what what was Itamar's what said whoosh. A bird it might have been blew in, blew out a gull, a storm petrol, a gale, it said would come, white water rolling like drums, run, come, run the white lace we'd see. Was it Netsonitz, what said web we were in, we wondered? Nets and its namesake net, gray water, gray fog, fay underness. Was it thus the ledge was we wondered? Lift we lay under, looking up at lone coast underness, overness. Lift we somehow lay through. Nets and its namesake net, it must have been. Ledge part lid, part hammock. Something some said was what sound was. Itamar for one stood up and stepped away. He moved his arms like a swimmer, in over his head, he wanted to say, wanting back in on his perch, he said instead, ledge that, I want you ledge. Oh, forest mist, might have been low clouds on lone coast. I saw it now. He was Brother B. He blew cave canticles. I, say, I saw he came out of it bleeding. That's in it no longer with him. A name in the air, if that. That's in its Valerian silence, nonchalance, parametric intrigue, parabolic hover, a say without saying it, sonance, eddied about them. It met the say it again sonance head on. They scooped honey from thought's cup, a beggar's bowl, it seemed, an echoic shell. It sometimes was. Shall I go? Sure. Song of the Andambalu 133. Brother B took off the Itamar mask as we crossed <laughs> over epic duress, lately contracted, let go, small mercy, less than we'd been led to expect, we now clamored for noise. No, not knowing what sound was. Noise, no doubt. It relieved us of doubt. Sound again, the balm it was. Cold sweat was on the box as we came to the bridge. Epic anointment taken in stride as we trudged on, brows wet. Ja, the song said would be there, not yet where there was. Third world caroling light. As we'd have wanted, a stepped emollient, up full, nets and nets, buxom strut, what lead we needed, brother bees roused an arrival, Itamar's rue regret, Netsonet's insofarian consort, his and his hand, hers and hers, fingertips dipped in ice, a soothing recoil, each the insofar I, he or she otherwise was. Brother B looked back at the bridge, Netsonet shrugged to get back to some time there once was. It might have been, there would someday be old, but new feeling steel planks fell away as they pressed on, lit city glistening with rain, epic allures, apocryphal kiss. They were on their way there and we as well. We rode beside them, them beside themselves, though not the we, they would have been, and other them they were, 
thoughts we, some synaptic when synaptic somewhere. Brother B said, come what may, what might come came. Upstart sense of an ending. What said life's unlay? Netsanet city was just a memory. Brother B's blue heaven. Netsanet's long back a gleam with mist and streetlights. Long back and bum, he stoked his hopes on, odalisk like the way it would be were it all his, trying to make place that promise. Long limbed, intaglio, place dilated his nostrils, the press of it incessant, shrug notwithstanding, netsonance, empathic perfume. Notes toward an eventual design was all the book was, book they were already in, and aroused hope made it so. Soon come racy, said to have been said to have been said to have been said more than they could see, but saw. Place dilated their nostrils, rains after smell, a cleansing it seemed. Aura, the aroma, could they name it? Netana city, the name they tried. Netsana city, the meaning of look and locale. Sound was something they saw. We saw synesthetes, synesthetes of light, but not liking it. Place be itself, we begged. Earth and air each be no other, we begged. Netsana and brother bees cohort bewitched net sentence insofar an itamar came up next black hold held in abeyance brought up bad aftertaste crossed water left us with pirates heels the roof we lay under all that was only out west net sentence chided sweet abyssinian rebuff Soul music made us forget. Salt so insistent though we heard its rake, its rub, horns whose burn spread. Ooze it welled up in, slave coast, the only coast it seemed. We needed not to feel that was all there was. Black hold had us, wondrously renewed. Ethiopians we'd be brethren and sister and so honey-lipped we'd sing, sing, not even meaning to, simply be. Sweet soul music made us forget. Rapturous rebuff we bathed in. Lovers dub, rub a dub. That's Phoenician sweet. All that was only out west. Said it again, said it again and again. All that was only out west. Itamar caught in the hold, came up. Black hold heavy with salt, with sweat. Itamar cut away so as to come out and say it. He took he heed of the call, quivering leaf like, a tree's way with reach, no one's, if not his. Thus he thought and set out to see it come true. Name, naming itself, tautologic, Netsonet. Net, no more caught up in, could only catch itself. Brother B, he'd be. Move on. Sarah, would you like to read? We have to do it to where our hands are, are moved and our feet are moved and our body and mind and everything are burning with this move and we don't get caught on any nihilistic or confirmative idea about anything. That moo is burning. It's as if we have swallowed a brightly burning, shining hot iron ball that is in our mouth. We can't swallow it down completely, nor can we spit it out. Shoto Harada, three commentaries. Song of the and of the and double 133 and a half. Namesake. Serendipity namesake serenade more than more what Dan could be in a name came out filled as we had once been we'd be again 
know how long we played or played on, not the nothing we've been so taught at, uh, about, black hole empty as air, not the soon come, never yet dare. We had our fill of the moo dogs bit, we've heard, net and sad. That uh, net sign saw through, as did Itamar, Mr. B, Itamar saw through, as did Net Senet, Mr. B, Mr. B saw through, as did Itamar, Net uh, Net to see was to fill up, see through, they were telling themselves no more scorn, not to let themselves stick in, look through, they did as though they were left out solid they saw even so a spoonful of honey sang out sung about sweet wrist they sat ladling in ted's gambit spoons edge cut with tea foam the lone coast arrived out again so it seemed or so it was and so they sat so long pretending sweet sip whisking what was otherwise real away we saw the surf crash Missing it again, we saw it evaporate. Looked in warning it again. Battle in seacoats, sand laying in, laying in. Legs looked at, moving on, all of it moving on. Mr. B taped it, a movie of sorts. Black hole and the shadow of box both. Sand would never be the same. Surf would never be the same. All since the ships pulled away, one coast, chain tether holding the world close. One long shore, it would be salt symphony, salt sub sublimity, they saw. Some have said there was a hole where the honey was. Neither black nor gold, a bent or a blue note endlessly issuing out. A half that there'll be no other half to. The nine world move ready them for. We were, we were they whose flesh the earth tug harder. We who seen our faces before our parents were alive. We who accidentally woken up. We were a dog's ears perked up, eager for high pitch, tired of the honey conceit. Draw tossed it away, sick of deserts, cross and oceans endured, held horses, bright sky sharpening knives. Where were you, someone asked as I came back? A cracked head cushioning stars, he said. I seem like ears like a deaf man's mouth like a mute. He said, I've been saying life is a tease before my voice went. Numbed it again and again, I was Brother B, Mr. B, Brother Ben. And the, and the alternative, I thought I heard him ask, wink, insinuate, Mr. Z, the he whose voice it was. The he I heard, relatively sweet, I said, hiccup as I spoke. So it was, or so it seemed, or so it seemed, we said it was. Each of us newly in, uh, initiated. B and Z, brother, brother, Bashir, Bashim Satwas, would be Basa, Basa Satwas. A had fallen away, the dust, the half step we missed, bent, and the cruise is gone. We've been led to believe before getting on, bent wheel again, gotten off, blue trunk, and old, old dream tundled up. Slogan, setting out had fallen out from under us, the original step dissected. There was no way of getting going or going, getting there. Handed my head by Brother B in a bag. I held it bagless by the locks, wound, wound into a horse's tail, saw myself riding away. Do I stop here? I'm, I'm still here. Who wants to read next? Uh, <laughs> Nets and Nets, the beautiful one has come. Again. Linda, go ahead. Ritual, scholars are coming to see, is precisely a mechanism that periodically converts the obligatory into the desirable. 
Victor Turner, The Forest of Symbols, Aspects of Nimbu Ritual. Netsunet, the Beautiful One, has come. Mu, 113th part. Netsunet was the obligatory new rendered comely, the crave come at from ins inferred out the new way we needed. The world outside itself, decidedness gave inklings of, so it was we were tricked into wanting what else. Whatever it was, wasn't what we thought. The abandoned boy and the abandoned girl were so steeped in rage, we turned away trembling. A Buddha's head hit my leg. My shin exploded. So it was with the others too, I eventually saw. Better we thought to rehearse what was to be thought. Crude encumbrance, bigness, bigness newly known, world squat. Was it that or was it thought's low clamor, we wondered. Upstart wag, rotundity, sight soon athwart itself. Oh, my waylaid city, we lamented, lamented. Netsonet, the woo we made of it, unprepossessing stretch of earth. Oh, my wayward plain, wayward prairie, no new syn synonymy with place we complained. Oh, my Netsonetian dearth, we had a name if nothing else, nothing if not a name. The name faded as we felt our way out, so taken with the sound of it, we'd been all but seen it. Itamar's moo, as in mutt, was all it amounted to. Netsonet's conic sonority, Netsonet's nonsonant brew. No sooner sipped, something popped into our heads, caught in our throats. Thought supposedly thought to have been otherwise. Whatever we could make of it moot. We hit our heads, clamped our jaws, cursed it, was imminence's own, we quaffed. Soon come philosophic posture, unsprung abundance, bluff. What was it to be there, we wondered. Get without going, soon already come. Our way rolled out like a rug, but burned our feet. Ever so gingerly we stepped, notwithstanding, no matter the tiptoe ghost we'd each become. What was it to be there, wanting to get there, we were caught up wondering. What was it not to wonder, we wondered. Name not ours to announce, we know, we now knew. Name, no matter, not to be let go. The name faded as we felt our way out, even so. Nets and at a melt of some sort, true luxuriance. Itamar's moo, as in must. The sheerness of nothing, something. Just we were loath to announce what was to be made one with, what we wanted, what we wanted, no way not. Namesake ensnarement, Netsonet, we called it. Netsonation scholars, we were learning what round was. What we wanted was that was to be what was to be, be what we wanted, the kind of running in place we found out. Under it, underneath it all, the cry, cry blood, that wrong be made right, bittersweet, honey go where blood went. Would we were doves or could fly. Netsonet, the beautiful one, had come. Tongue's tip erased, alveolar ridge, we said it so much, the roofs of our mouths wore down. The tribe we were, the tribe we wanted to be, were it true round ruled. Netsonet, the beautiful one, come around each time we said it. What says rule would be? A kind of scat we found it was, we were caught in, come so far only for that. Syllabic juggle, whatever there was, the toss, what there was to it the going through, getting through the air. We stood and looked the way we'd come, going back too far to say where. What says rule undone? It was ritual we were after, rounds rule we followed, back to where we'd been, could it be said? We'd been and we're back. What says law so suspended? We could only wonder, wonder as we did, when would it quit? It got to where punctuation was all it was, and we as well. Still, we were liking it. Itamar even liked it. 
It got to where it was all indentation, begin again, begun again, everything set off. Trees that had been sticks leafed again, profuse green, green gone viral the farther south we went. Nets in it, the beautiful one has come, we repeated. Heads we were telling it seemed, not so much a prayer as to sort of set a tone, answered as it was anyway. We were beginning to see what ritual was, upstart scholars of Netsnet Academy of late, a kind of lingering we'd wanted, black growth intransigent, name not fail nor fade, a propinquity of short sorts we shared over time, away from the market we thought, thought unthinkable, one in some place for a time. Ritual made what was to be look lovely, lovely nets in it, the face we saw the future in, one in some place, some same place again, a school of round rule it was we were in, faces less long than before. Nets in its acolytes, a school of rounds repeat, we swore we'd be, sweet return, sweet refrain, the beautiful one had come, something seen in a face or the nape of a neck, no pretense, no compromise. We were saying goodbye to something, a beginning would come out of, saying it mu as much to be done with it as to say it, nets in it the beautiful one had come, no dream, not utopic, worth dreaming. There we sat inside the hale unlikely lounge, lion's head lounge. There we thought, only as though we were there, though as though fell away. A strangled bird cried out, in Mars moo as in much. Sounds so bountiful, we choked on it. Come by that to know, we thought what it was. Nets in it, the beautiful one had come. Say the name, said it all it seemed. Say it again, said what was left. All was only chant, nominal syntax. Tag, toggle, tassel it seemed. Only was all adoration, insistence, unadornment, soon. No ideas, but in things. That's the beginning of the next part, I think. Appreciate your enthusiasm. All right, who's next? I'll go. No ideas, but in things. William Carlos Williams, a sort of song. Keep a thing happening all through it. John Coltrane, dearly beloved. Song of the Andambulu. 135, tempted to allegorize etude. Tempted to allegorize, we would have none of it. It wasn't that we were that day. The day had come along and we with it. It had been getting to be that time for a while. Cosmic shrug met ecstatic shiver and we were gone again, away the only where there was. To say we were tiptoe ghosts would have gone too far. This or that buzz, this or that palaver, too soon and too much talk, too easily talked. Post ecstatic we'd been before, but that too was talk. Parabolic slight we stepped away from. We who'd been caroling musk, we sought some sweetness, not yet there, not sweetness's conceit, noses open, lips a mere leaf between teeth, reel and release cut between, we were leveraging Tejbet against Kismet, in safarians one and all, the sun, a punched eye knocked socketless, refusing what so far was to come. Soon we called it Netsonant's wager, Netsonant an Anansi, bet net and web gambit caught as could be. We were apprised a leaf eater spat paint, said by some to have been Lilith, 
a new one right regaling our group beset by this or that winged embrace winged intimacy each no sooner there than gone a long song of being bereft went on and on a piping some thought to have come gone come again wire through the trees it seemed buzz was back not having left always back as though having left burr bird wire spider fly we were wandering what would it have meant to or amounted to no note not worried no word with one referent no one referent only one a way of looking away, it might have been. It might have been a hedge against what was to come. Tempted to allegorize, Itamar gave in the new glimpse of what lay apart so close he tasted it, never to be done detailing Metzenant's domain, a sexed equivalence he took it to be, led by the blush of it, light tail and thigh, thoughts and tablature, bounteous rump and thigh though they were, begging to be different. He wanted the bloom of it, world opening up like a rose, sweet bouquet, told on by nervousness, sweating urge he was bothered by, salt's philosophic savor it was, part plumb line, part canary, part repair. Tempted to allegorize, we said it was what it was, road made of asphalt, path made of dirt, whichever we were inching along. Thoughts equation came loose. There was the blessing, breath was. We shouldered a great weight, it seemed. Itamar among the shades called out to us, dead before his time, pretending to be, if not, no claim to extravagant to make, he made it seem. There was a somewhere, he said, he stood with one foot in, a lone leg, the one he stood on where we were. Split sense he'd happily shake if he could, he said, split sense even so not split enough we argued yet to know exactly what it was we meant blurted out before we knew huff had said nothing six days in a row looked in on a life not his quick suppositious equation a bleeding bowl at his feet toe to toe he'd have gone with itamar had he spoken went on biting his tongue, twisted aspect, careless X, careless Y. There, though we, there we were, him with us, there where we'd have otherwise been. Even so, we'd have none of it, no elsewhere to be led to. A blocked alley, what there, there was. Soon it was the same went for Itamar. He who'd have bought in was now not buying. No, alos, all exit gone. A voice among the shades no more, no base emolument. Flat heel, flat horn, flat hoof. So it was, and so it went, or so we saw fit to convince ourselves. Cool snap, new synaptic admonishment, a caution so to ease ourselves. Huff stood pat, in touch with all time, all alarity hid. Deep crease all hearts went out to, wounded beauty at whose behest we stirred, feet at some precipice it seemed. Itamar among the shades had faded, a figment we were upset to find we missed image of the image of the story story told adage we'd have drawn back and listing no adage ithmic arrest it turned out tempted to eulogize 
Huff held back, no summing up to be had, he intimated a sense we agreed with, no dispute. Itamar, come back, had he ever gone, agreed as well. Zanette agreed out loud, seconded something unsaid. So it was, and so it went, some same unwinding of itch and arraignment, not yet to be done with, we sensed. Zeno had lain busted up, and he too spoke. Dread Ethiopic sojourn, nonchalant agnostic shrug, shamanic rapture. Damn if I know, he blurted out. Pop and percolation were all there was on the plain we crossed. Dread lake or drive-in movie. We wondered which long story long, longer, all we knew we put in moving on, cut wood wrapped up in alligator skin, sticks whose clap kept time. Eddie Harris was on the box, Exodus. We saw it was LA we were in, time under arrest. Oh, to be gone again, Itamar sang out, all pop, all snap, and a pertinence, a Resiny, wine wanting out, all scrape, all scratch, all scour, napped anaphylactic spit. Anamnestic, it more and more got to be. Itamar's hard head lit, translucent brain case, bay window clear. We looked in, we saw something, Orphic, Itamar, the stray we'd each be. Had the sky opened up and drawn us in, we'd have only expected it. Flat aspect notwithstanding, erstwhile immunity mum. Even the end won't be the end of Itamar's release was a way of saying indemnity deep in the break. Netsna, the beautiful one, had come there was no disputing something we all had seen had accosted us. We all had seen something to look would unwrap. Something seen in a face no face rose without. Flat aspect, ours we insisted. Net sentence, insafarian dispatch, Itamarian, hers to be ours to be his. Stuck wheel unstuck. We went on spinning. A new epic, no epic, unsure which. A high song it was we resorted to. Reasons will undone. A high song's reasoning with an imp. It wasn't sing so much as, so much even so. More we spun like a wheel, hummed like a wire. A high song we sang, were sung, were sing it we did. So, song so sweet we winced. Thus the otherwise inaudible witness, a parallel track we were said to have run. Tempted to allegorize, we let our way be all itself. What if anything, self-evidence what there was. No spider spun with us. Netsonet was no Anansi, no princess's repentance, no knight at Mount Ida's foot. So we hoped, and so it went, and so it was. We did without seeming. Came again with quarrel insistence, tempted to allegorize. Implicit oath we swore, sipping Tej to extract sweetness. Tej bet exact what headiness. Tej bet Tej's vow. Something seen Tej's vow was to get next to. Something seen sight could only defile. Something seen in a face. Face could only disguise our pledge was to get to free of that condition somehow. Are we reading the next section? Okay, I'll go. Song of the Andalou, 136. The Comte Piano lifted the leaves in low forest, 
a blanket of shade pulled up, a sheet of glass put in place, free prospect all around, I thought. I wanted my allegoric laps. I wanted my wet said companions. Alone looking out under house arrest, I wanted them back, less myself than before, unbeset. An exquisite jewel it all was, no explanation, no equation, a time-lapse excursion it was. High John from High Point was on the box, the box blown roofless, hacked wood, scattered what light there was. A low trombone could be heard asking, what have they done to my beautiful boy? A tree limb cracked in the distance, the all of us the horns had become. All of us there to notice, all of us there to see. Blue train, our wounded anthem, hacked woods, the woods we walked. I was imagining Sophia's dreamt about blue truck, dreamt arrival, train's loud announcement a blur, train track, wished for Congress come nigh. There was the sun's late equation, the moon's ludic blush, truck equaling train, equaling train, equaling truck, soon's blue transport, soon, soon come. It was the muses' blue lips, the all of us the horns had become came through. Blue rebuked kiss, blue bench recon reconnoiter. It was the muses' gray canopy covered us. We I'd otherwise be, the trees fell free of. Cries loud and low, we'd have heard had we been there. Wood equaling me. I lay like a nuncio, busted up, contemplating the book of it. Last legs, no exit announcement, no way to run. I stood like Itamar, sat like Huff. A sweet smile captured my lips like nuts and nuts. Zeno and Zanette's repair. Zeno and Zanette's last anything. Zeno and Zanette's last kiss. I saw them come back from afar, saw them bisect every step. Friend and familiar, a fiend, foe. They walked in smelling of salt, the reek of lone coast on their hair, their skin, sand, a kind of coat they wore. <laughs> something I saw it, something I saw it seemed I dreamt I saw, something seen exteriority reneged on. Stand up wide awake, though I did. Did I see what I saw? I wondered. The closer the coast was, the less I felt located. Water opening out onto everywhere was what I saw, what I saw, I wanted to know. A versionary recital it seemed, or so I thought. So, abreast of it, only the book of it remained, a finger dipped in butterfly dust, a foot gone printless. What of it I glimpsed, gone out on tiptoe? What, we'd have been, what we'd have been, whose escorts, what we, once there, drew through the woods. So it was, or so it went, going so, soon gone. A blip no screen accounted for, blink as I did, all I could. The box had fallen away, sound itself an overt bed of spree. Roughed underbody, I fell and felt air to. A chestnut sense, were there any sense left? A new scrub sense of myself. <clears throat> Let it play on you, Huff had said. Let it have its way. I wasn't clear what it was, but my ears perked up. Moo, I knew, had gone into hiding, and it might have been Moo. I wondered, was it Moo he spoke about? In front of us, the waves rolled in. They gave his eyes a glassy look. To see was to see oneself suspended. Round in so fairy and bliss at the foot of Mount Ida, Huff's ismic, what say, a smiling spider's fight. A sort of cartoon, the sun had a face and grew limbs in, round and round of rebirth, death unacceptable. What I saw was too much. I saw a tiptoe ghost promenade, a sorcerer's apprentice parade, Mr. and Mrs. P's reminiscent lament. Something seen in a face no straddling of legs lived up to. An epiphany or an epistrophe, no way of knowing which. Crest there'd be no end of anymore. Does it start a new section after that? 
Yeah, on Lay's Lay Promenade, Susan K. Anderson, would you grace us with a reading tonight? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. On Lay's Late Promenade, move. 116th part. Again, that closer walk, legless though they'd be. Low in Safarian sun, I cut my teeth on. There's to be better to bite with. Me, there's the closer we walked. There were insisting time sweet grievance. Groomed it the closer I got. Zeno and the net, the net moments. Nurses. Nunza, Nunza, net. Thus it was they were there again. Thus they walked legless. Noses thumbed at the sun. Unlay's avatar said, to have become caricature, caricature, sacred clown of late, late awakening. Laughed having thought it so. So it was I saw what I saw was too much. So it was I sewed my mouth shut. They could have heard me gone again. What says entourage? So it was, or the words they'd gone away muttering, unlays nonchalance. Everything was leaving itself. Everyone himself, herself, all of them, all of it moving. It was as though they were each another. Outmost urge met indrawn joust. Peyote pod baritone tap. They were saying they'd gotten back from this or that place. Where was the honey we'd heard about, I wanted to know. In the realm of what say all poor consequence. They did a slack legged shuffle, legless though they were. Quick switch in Broglio, the cost of it. Rumble in the house of who knew. It was my own most inward step, my heart itself, closer than close could be. I had a go at it, but fell. My legs were in the way. No way could the legless grace come again. I thought about walking. I had to think about walking. Nancy's pelvic sway. But what I saw, I couldn't say. It made me say things. Realm in whose wood I hung in love with her hard look. Walk in whose wake I lay. I was whistling when my lips fell off. <laughs> Lipless was too legless in some way I couldn't say. The closer walk words got in the way of. But it was lay on the tip of my tongue. Stay to unlay already in some way. Unsay's day begun. We were of more than one mind, puff at it. Sophia said the same. I wanted relevance, trust. I whistled even so. Wind in the gaps of my teeth. <laughs> A new lady named Aja joined our group. Slight of limb, loose tomboy body. Smile so broad we blushed. The Egyptian spring was up in smoke in back of us. We trudged on, far from all that, even far from Lone Coast. A former life stalked us, it seemed. 
We took tiny steps, unsure what lay under us. Unlay's realm, the sweet precinct we sought, unsure what would get us there. To say we was too much, my head told me. Not so, my second head said. To say we was all I wanted, my third head said. Second head said to have lost itself. Third head always at odds with itself. Want wanting more of itself. It was Aja's, Aja's dream we were in, the we I went on about, unlaced, have drumbration. When would it begin? The we I so insisted on, the we we'd eventually be. When would Lay's be begun? It was my dream of Aja we were in said my third head, we the one risk I took, one wish, flat, flat, rhapsodic, ditch. I walked haunted by the we she made us. Nunsus promenade behind us now. We'd seen Egypt in flames and we kept walking. Huff said, I told you so, and we kept walking. Unlays late promenade, all there was left. I dreamt a dream of moving on. I dreamt a dream of standing pat. First head and second head and third head's agreement. A dream I let my true self slide. Anle was so no simple stand. This or that mystic puzzle. This or that bodily rebuke. In the end, it will have been all there was we grew to expect. No soul's captivity. Some book had called Egypt. A book we no longer read. In the realm of what say we tramped along. There, no matter spun by the swirl of it. There was no matter where we were. Moments notice, moments note. The moment brought bad and good. Aja's ka was Layla, Itamar's Majlu. Our crew caught up in the old way. The old way's day redone. Madness be our name, we chimed in chimed in unison, incense, Majnun's dream of a just world, just dreaming, Majnun's each and all we were. So it was, and so we sang, snuffed Egyptian spring, and crustic, uncuffed auspice, auspice, there'd be. Thus it was, <laughs> so it went, Unlike, unlike what it was we expected. Sanctioned feet where voices met water. Far from cause and consequence, we stopped. We were relinquishing together for time. Something seen in a face peering out from inside, we saw was what soul was. This is how it is. I was telling myself, some spectral aspect in the head somehow. This is how it is, I said. This is how it is. Voice eaten at by the bay we stood in front of. Cold advent of water, cold commiseration, ismic arrival, salt. If not what wet our hems anointment, was nothing, nothing if not what tugged our feet. Froth be what'll, what will be, we chimed, <laughs> indignant, high falsetto. Insistent, deep, whoop, whoop, thrum, thrum. There was a sense there, 
was a core, there was a core to be gotten to. Cloth drawn aside or gone under, frills fallen away at the water's edge. If not it, albeit illusory, illusory, it might have been. Instigation was nothing. The advance I wanted lay at Aja's feet, scruffy thoughts, nubbly dispatch, that all bow down and be at rest, unlays on soon come, chill water careening bust what Egypt was. World under glass wraps, flat. I think that's it. Song of the Andambu, 138. Oh, let's stop there, I think. Nicely done, everybody. Yes, everybody got a chance. That was great. It's so good to hear it in so many different voices. The um in the in the book they say Lone Coast is California, though Rachel Blau Duplessy insists it's the Gulf Coast. And Low Forest is North Carolina. Yeah. He lived in Carolina for 12 or 10 years since he left UC Santa Cruz to teach at Duke. And um, they have many explanations of the um, neologisms mm -hmm. that he has. And I made notes and one of these, and, and I know that Tawil is not, nor Ips, Ipsaity, those are not uh, neologisms, but I put it down there. And if I get the time someday, I'll just transcribe these notes and get into more details about, you know, the what sayer, Insofarian, nonsense, and all of that. Um, I think that'd be an interesting blog post. So that's on my list of things to do. But, um, you know, for those who are interested, this book uh, goes into great depth. And oh, and there's another essay by um, by uh, Norman Finkelstein, and Rachel Blau Rachel Blau Duplessis calls out that uh, his former essay in this. <laughs> And it was like, what's up with that footnote? Norman Finkelstein also uses the term log book about Mackey's work in a differently inflected chapter on Mackey. And, and then she goes on and, and she kind of throws a little shade on what Norman was saying. So I had a conversation with him about that and he sent me his earlier essay, the one to which she's referring, which I think I'm gonna have for the fall workshoppers. I could probably put it in here if you're interested. Anybody have any thoughts about that? About the about what the, the what, sign what we or? read or what we read. It's just, it's just it's so amazing how creative how creative it is and with language. It's just so wonderful and Oh, it's just, there's just so much there. I I feel like I'm reading it too fast. And we're, even though we're reading it, right? Which goes lower than when you read it to yourself. I mean, it's just so fast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone else has that sensation. Yeah, or has thought that. Susan, for sure. And I, I'm thinking that reading it aloud allows us to enter into the that little loop around ritual that he was explaining. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to me, that said a lot. I feel deeply that I missed the last two sessions because I'm like, oh, we got here from the, <laughs> but the ritual part of it uh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I like the slants. When you get those slant rhymes working yeah. Yeah. in it. I, and, I was marking some of them, yeah. Yeah, I like those because you, because you get to, and it's it's like they come really alive when you read it aloud. Because then you could hear it. Because it the because the breaks are kind of like like working the inflection a little bit for you and stuff. So you know, just just fun to read. And I like the North Carolina stuff that he does in there. He leaves all the little hints about North Carolina all the time. You know, like Hi John from High Point. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I saw that. Yeah, that. which is like a just a small town, but it, but it was the highest point on the railroad line across North Carolina. And, you know. and it's where and it's Coltrane's hometown. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, there are two streets there that uh, that bear his name. Coltrane Place and uh, Coltrane Street, and they both, and they do cross. They do have a, have a cross there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Train crossing. Mm-hmm. I was whistling when my lips fell off. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a, I'm not a grandma person, but there's a tense that Maggie's using, past tense, plu perfect, or some kind of yeah, weird um, thing. He's talking about well, what could happen in the past tense. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, that yeah. seems to tie in with the whole like use of the Mu mythology um, and uh, a lot of the yeah. stuff about kind of contemporary, where he's kind of pulling the contemporary moment and bringing it in with this moment uh, in like Ethiopia and Egypt, uh, kind of pre-slave trade. Uh, yeah. And so there's that lost sense of a world that uh, is kind of destroyed by the colonial uh, powers of like Greece and Rome and then later Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they point out in the, the Destination Out about how all the non-Eurocentric references, I mean, Spain gets a pass because it's quote unquote, the most Africanized country. And of course had the Moors in for how many centuries, yeah. but, yeah. Um, but a plethora of rebuttals to Eurocentric dominance and the, the wisdom cultures of non-European descent. This is a, just throwing it out as a plethora of these are alternative paths um, that are as significant or perhaps more so than the Eurocentric one that we've kind of been stuck with. Yeah, I like how this is about a tra- a, tra- a travel and you said about the travel log. And then there's commentary about what happened and also new sort of footnotes or new um, paths or new journeys with sort of the inside the writing. Right. Is everyone, anyone else getting that sense? Okay. Or you already said that. <laughs> no, no, I don't remember that he said like that. But the dream stuff, you know, when three heads start talking, it's like, whoa, <laughs> let me get my bearings here. <laughs> And there's that what's beauty. that? Uh, what's that tense called that you were the, that you were speaking of? I Do don't you know? know. I don't know exactly what the tense is. I could probably check my notes. Grammar is not much yeah. Fun. It's something like it's something like there. Um, like it just uh, transcends uh, from the past to the to the the present and into the future as well. Mm-hmm. It just it just uh, puts all that into the same space. Yeah like a past conditional but you know yeah i'm retired and uh y'all can look it up <laughs> but i think thinking of it as a past conditional means hmm. how do we know what we know anyway right which is part right. of his whole discussion which i really like yeah i really like the part about the three heads then you kind of like my first head said this and the second one said this and the third one and we kind of want them to be all in agreement that they're not i thought that was really interesting yeah i mean i think he's working through the different uh per the kind of verb perfect modes um with the uh uh with the Completed present, completed past, and then the conditional future. Yeah. Okay. I haven't been finding it. Yeah, the footnote stuff would sure be helpful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure, someone will do an annotated uh, Mackie at some point. Oh my God. 
Yeah, that's coming, I think. Oh, speaking of which, Paul, are you the one who's putting up a playlist of all the music? He's yeah, I'm going to add. I made I put little bookmarks in the uh, it's called Sonic Perfume on Spotify. And uh, you can see it. Uh, you just pull up Spotify, just search Sonic Perfume and look for the playlist. And um, OK. Let me just see if I have something here and I'm going to add to it now i made notes i was sticking bookmarks in when the eddie mm -hmm. harris reference came up and then one and blue train i don't know if that's on the list already should be uh but i will get it on there